Welcome to the Chamber's Elevated Conversations podcast. And now, your host, Brian Otten. Welcome to another episode of Elevated Conversations, the Chamber's podcast. I'm Brian Otten. I'm the marketing manager at the Greater Wasa Chamber of Commerce. And today we are joined by Doug Muncy, president of Key Mobility. Doug, uh, welcome to the show. Uh, in full disclosure, I'm going to let everyone know that we actually, Doug and I actually had a conversation about a month ago and uh, I forgot to push record. So uh, we're doing this again and, uh, and this time we're going to get this conversation. Um, I'm going to jump uh, ahead a little bit to the last conversation. I know um, to kind of break the ice here, we, we talked then about you being a Red Sox fan and that your favorite player was, uh, was Freddie Lynn. Um, but you're also a, a Brewer fan. Uh, any thoughts on um, Jackie Bradley Jr.? Is he going to come around and start hitting for the Brewers this year? Unfortunately, I don't think he is. No. Why? Because he never has. <laughs> yeah, it, you know that. Not for any sustainable period of time. Interesting. But, you know, look, I think we all want, we want Christian Yelich to have put up an MVP season. That's what we need. That's true. That's true. So. Uh, we'll get into business here, Doug. Tell me a little bit about um, yourself and about Key Mobility uh, and what it is that you produce down there in um, Stevens Point. Okay, well, um, Key Mobility is a uh, what we would call a complex rehab wheelchair uh, manufacturer. Uh, so those are wheelchairs that are specifically designed uh, and custom built for people that are going to use it for a long time, the long-term disabled people that intend to, once they've done rehabilitating, get back out into the workforce, into the community. Uh, so they, they need it to be maneuverable, they need it to be light, they need it to be uh, aesthetically, you know, because it's in essence part of their clothing. Um, we've been down here for 15 years. Uh, I worked at Sunrise Medical Churns here prior to that, uh, and then the uh, they went through, I was an executive, and they went through some pretty serious changes. So, hey, we'll try something else. One of the, the sort of uh, products that you developed that, and, and produced that really got a lot of attention last year was the Ethos wheelchair. Can you tell me a little bit about that particular product and what makes it so special? Well, sure. I mean, when a wheelchair is ro- rolling over a rougher surface, so if it's on a you know, vinyl floor or a hardwood floor inside, it's smooth, uh, but when it's on pavement or most outside surfaces, surfaces, the uh, you get vibration up through the chair. If you've ever used roller blades on the asphalt, uh, you could, you know, after you've done that even for a few minutes, your legs get the vibration and they start to get weak. Um, for people driving in their car for eight hours, they get out, you feel weak. Truck drivers on long haul trucking have seats that isolate themselves from the road so they don't feel that vibration. And in essence, that's what we tried to do with the ethos. We, the ethos, the, the rider is uh, isolated from the wheels of the chair so they don't feel or at least greatly minimize the vibrations that you get when you push along the road. Got it. Uh, very, very significant to people's long-term health. Absolutely, and and I know last year you were recognized uh, with that product in the coolest thing made in Wisconsin competition. Um, on behalf of the chamber, congratulations for how well you did in that uh, competition. Well, thank you very much. And and so I guess tell me what what's the last year been like for Key Mobility uh, in terms of um, dealing you know working through the pandemic. Um, you know how, how has it impacted your uh, your business? Um. Well, it's everything has slowed for everybody, right? I mean, people just aren't doing everything they did. People are canceling appointments. So, so you know, sales are down, um, but we're managing through that. Uh, we did get a PPP loan, and, and we've kept our, our staff um, throughout the whole thing. And, uh, you know, it's, I mean, now we've got, which people may have heard, that there's a lot of shipping issues from our suppliers to us, from raw materials to our suppliers, which are really putting a bit of a, you know, a damper on the general manufacturing scope within the, within the country. Um, it, it, it makes it more of a challenge to work through, but 
they're not insurmountable. So uh, we just have to do our best and stick to it. Sure. And and speaking of challenges, I mean, the, the challenge that we hear from across our membership, uh, along with, you know, the supply chain issues that you just mentioned uh, are related to talent. And so tell me, what, what has Key Mobility done? Um, to, I know you're, you're a growing company down there in Stevens Point. Uh, can you point to anything um, specific that you've done to really try to address that talent issue within your business? Well, if I'm going to be honest, I don't know that we've done too many things that are dramatically radical. Um, we've tried to do a lot of things job fairs, which are not too many of in COVID, advertising, um, getting our name out there. Uh, we've had some, you know, incentives for our people to bring in people. Um, unfortunately, the job, mar- the job market is tough right now. There's not as many people out there uh, looking for work, which makes it very, very difficult to find new people. And what ends up happening is companies uh, start to get desperate and start paying more for the same people. And you know, sometimes you can even lose a couple people because someone offered them more money. Sure. Yeah, it, it is very, very, very competitive out there. And, and like I said, we hear that from across our membership. Um, I guess uh, tell me some, some more about um, any, anything, any sort of new innovations uh, related to your business that you can share or, or anything. I guess what's the big news uh, down at Key Mobility these days? Well, next week we're launching a new pediatric uh, tilt and space wheelchair. So um, for most people, and when we think about a wheelchair, a person sitting in the chair and they're pushing themselves, um, and we would refer to that as an independent person. Uh, But there are a lot of people in wheelchairs that are dependent, that they are not able to take care of themselves, and they even have difficulty sitting up straight. So they... We've developed it, and we didn't invent it, uh, wheelchairs that tilt so that the person can go backwards, which helps to maintain their posture uh, and other orthopedic or uh, central nervous system issues. And then you know, there's a caretaker, a parent for a child or a caretaker for an adult. Well, we're introducing uh, a new chair that's the lightest on the market uh, that's very reasonably priced, so it's competitive to existing chairs. It has a very innovative center of gravity system so that uh, at the center of gravity, as you tip the chair back, which would normally be moving the center of gravity backwards, it slides forward to try to keep the center of gravity over the base of the chair. The net result is you have a much smaller and more compact product if you have to put it in a car. So we expect, and uh, the sales team is very excited about working with this, and um, we think it's going to generate a lot of new business. Yeah, I mean that that sounds great. The you know I've I've known a number of people uh, who've had children um, who've needed wheelchairs, and the the bulk and weight of those um, of some of them can be pretty cumbersome. So yeah, that sounds like a an excellent uh, bit of innovation. So so tell me how among your staff down there, do you have engineers on staff that that help develop these these sorts of uh, products? Uh, yes, we have uh, quite a number of engineers, like in the team, maybe even 20 engineers on staff. Oh, okay. All right. You, you know, I think we, we haven't talked uh, yet about, I guess, what got you into this line of work. You talked a little bit about your history and the transition that you made. Um, anything else regarding that transition that, that really sort of uh, uh, attracted you to this, this field? Um, well, my wife was... Uh, Back 40 years ago, (laughs) I'm not that young, Um, my wife was teaching children who were severely and profoundly disabled, um, and she asked me to come help her because some of them were, uh, you know, in disrepair. So I went in and looked at it for a little bit and put them back together. And one day, and then I did it another time, and a guy came in who was with a wheelchair company and said, hey, looking for a job? Um, so sometimes it starts with the most innocent of conversations. Yeah, that's, that's interesting. Well, been doing it, been doing it almost ever since. That's great. Well, Doug, is there anything else you'd like to to share about key mobility, um, before we wrap up? Um, well, just that we've got big growth plans ahead. 
Uh, we're looking for people in all different functions, um, assembly, customer service, data entry, uh, you name it. We're, we're looking for people. So uh, if anybody in your audience is, is interested, uh, we're right off Interstate 39 right there at uh, 10, just past south of uh, Highway 10, and we look forward to talking to you. Awesome. Well, th- thanks, Doug. I appreciate you making the time. And uh, here at the Chamber, we, we value your membership. Thanks for being a member. Thank you. All right. Thanks, Doug. This podcast episode is a production of the Greater Wausau Chamber of Commerce.